All right, I'm going to show you how to pack tapered bearings by hand. You have a large side, and you have a small side. What you want to do, you want to put a glob of grease in your palm of your hand. Hold your bearing like so, and feed grease into this large side of the bearing until grease starts coming out the back here. Let's demonstrate. Grease. Bearing. Large side facing the grease. Take small bites. Until the grease comes out the back. If you have a look there, you can see the grease coming out the back. Keep spinning the bearing and feeding the grease through it until it's complete like that through the back. Rightio, that's what you want to end up with. Fully packed bearing. Grease coming right out. Smear it all over. Yeah. Get your cup. Yeah. Me grease over it. Sit your cup in there. That is a fully packed bearing done properly. That. Take this glove off. Give me a say. All right, I'll show you again with the small bearing. Same thing, yeah. Glob of grease. Knead it through. See so it coming out the back. Spin it. Bites. So coming out the back. Can't overdo the grease, just give it a good knead through it. Don't worry how much is on your hands. So it all coming out the back. Give it a good knead. Again, at the back. Alright, she's fully packed. Yeah. Give it a rub everywhere. Can't overdo it. Get the cup. Give it a good. Smush. Tuck them on together. Yeah. Fully packed bearing. Yeah. Looks like blood on my hands. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Pop it down on a clean.
This is how I pack my bearings, guys. Just put them in a snap lock bag, ready to go. If you have a problem on the road, change them straight out. Another thing, these are old racers. Cut a slot in them on an angle. See that? This one as well, the small one. Use the big one to seat the big cone when you're putting your bearings in. Use the small one to seat your small bearing, the cone. Same thing, slot in it. Keep them together. Also carry spare staino for the rear bearing seal. Grease I use. Thanks for looking.